What's up icons? It's the iconic fashion figure back with a new video and I know y'all looking at the title and the cover and it says vlogmas on it because I've been missing for the majority of vlogmas. I realized vlogmas is for those youtubers that are full-time. I'm definitely not a full-time youtuber and I cannot keep up with that because it started taking over my time needed for other things so I had to quit but as you guys can see from the title and cover that this video has to do with my hair which is a video Video that's been requested by the few of you that actually follow me on Instagram and I posted this picture of my hair growth of me working towards getting my hair the length that I desired and few of you DM me some of you guys commented asking what's the secret uh, wanting to know what products I use in my hair all that stuff so this video is for you guys and anyone else that's interested tips that I will say that's my secret as far as my hair growth that I feel like help my hair tremendously and the first one which I commented back to some of you guys on the post on Instagram is no heat no heat at all for at least six months straight is normally what I do you'll see some people that are on their hair journey and will just do no heat at all maybe straighten their hair once out of the year I like wearing my straight hair so I just do it basically during the winter time and I think I've been doing that for two years now because I moved to Florida three years ago so yeah it would have been about two years of me doing that and the real reason I actually started doing that was because here in Florida in the summertime and springtime it's so rainy so hot it's no point of me even straightening my hair so I just focused more on just leaving my hair curly during that time no point in straightening it and I started realizing the amount of growth I was seeing in my hair by not straightening it I would usually go from like April because my birthday's in March so that would be like the last time I straightened in my hair so from like April to September October is usually when no heat on my hair at all now I don't even know the last time I actually even used the blow dryer on my hair I definitely don't blow dry my hair like I just wash my hair right now and right now I'm letting it air dry so I always let my hair air dry I do not blow dry my hair actually recently because I last year I think it was I was getting ready to travel and I had just washed my hair didn't have time to air dry so I tried to use a blow dryer and the blow dryer I had from like 10 years ago just broke out of nowhere mind you I've only used it maybe like twice but it broke I never got to blow dry my hair I don't even own a blow dryer anymore I do have like the hooded cap that I can use when I do my deep conditioning but that would be the only heat and I only do that maybe once a year as well so no heat on your hair for as long as you can last so I like I said will do it from about April to September October time frame and then I usually see a tremendous amount of growth like the first year I did it here this was the last time straightening my hair before I started deciding to do from April no heat and then you can see the difference once six months later I went ahead and straightened my hair and then for my number two that has been a huge help when it came to the length was this summer actually I didn't even do this last year this year was the first time I did it and when I straightened my hair this past fall I saw a huge difference in my length which is where that picture came from so I started putting my hair in little twists like this like in this picture here and I didn't used to do that before I started doing that this year because I noticed after last year when I would always just do wash and goes my back started breaking out like back acne and I never had that before so I was trying to figure out where it was coming from and I figured it had to be my hair and all the products and oil in my hair rubbing against my back was breaking my back out so I decided this year not to do wash and goes to see if the acne in my back would stop which it did but those twists I didn't realize how much they were actually helping my hair because one it helped my hair from getting all tangled up because normally I would just either do wash and go or put my hair in a bun and my hair would get so tangled after a few days whereas the twist I keep them in my hair for like two weeks and my hair when it came time to wash was so much easier it was not all tangled up I didn't have to worry about spending all this time detangling so that calls for a lot less breakage because I start getting impatient and I'll start ripping through my hair just to get it detangled and I'll lose a lot of hair but those 
twist helped me to keep it from detangle and I also believe that it really helped me with length retention because I get a lot of shrinkage when it comes to my hair. But with those twists, it held a lot of length because I even noticed even with my curly hair that normally shrinks up to my shoulders, I had a lot more length after I started doing those twists. So those twists helped me out a lot as well as just doing like two braids or two twists, which I normally would do that like right after a wash to let my hair dry out. So no heat and twist are like my top two when it came to getting the length that I wanted when it came to my hair. And then another thing that I think truly helped my hair, actually I saw a huge difference in my hair was hot oil treatment. My hair has a hard time taking in the products that I put in my hair but with warm so that hot oil helped to saturate my hair with the oil and give me that moisture that I needed in my hair because my hair was becoming so dry. So I would literally just take some of my oil which I got a couple oils here like this one is an olive oil and tea tree oil. This one is baboya oil, spearmint and tea tree oil in it. So I would just take those oils, put it in a separate bottle, put the bottle in like a bowl of boiling water and just let it sit for a few minutes before I put it in my hair. And I usually put that in my hair when I do my deep conditioning because I don't like keeping the oils in my hair. So I wash them out because I don't like touching my hair and then all this oils on my hand. But the hot oil treatments help my hair a lot. I got that shine back in my hair. My hair was super moisturized and really soft. So the oil, hot oil treatments help my hair out a lot. I don't do it as much now, but every so often I will go back and do that. And then like I mentioned with the hot oil treatments, I also make sure to deep condition my hair every week. And then that's when I would add the hot oil in. So I would use a deep conditioner and I would just put my plastic cap on for like an hour and then wash it out. Normally wash my hair first, do the deep treatment after. And then one of the best things I could have done for my hair too was letting go of all Cantu products. When I first started Cantu, I think in 2017, the first maybe two or three times I used it, it seemed like it was doing so well for my hair. I actually loved Cantu products then, but over time I noticed my hair was becoming super dry. It was like really flat. It just looked so dull and damaged and I couldn't figure out why. I kept buying more and more of their products trying to try different things to get my hair back. And then I ended up seeing someone's comment saying that Cantu dried their hair out. Or I think I saw it on a review on one of the products or something. So I started looking more and more into it and all these people are talking about how Cantu has dried their hair out. So I'm like, okay, let me stop using Cantu. So I completely stopped using Cantu, which mind you, before Cantu, I was using As I Am. And I used all As I Am products. I don't know why I started using Cantu because As, as I Am worked for me. But I went to Cantu, started realizing after a whole year that Cantu was actually proper. So then I started using Maui Moisture, which this shampoo and conditioner has worked wonders for my hair. When I tell you my hair is so soft, the definition of my curls is always there after every single wash. And I know there's a lot of people out there that tell you to not use shampoo so much. I tried the whole co-wash thing and only shampoo once a month type. No, nope, that does not work for my hair. This shampoo is what worked for my hair and it's real light. So my hair doesn't feel like it's stripped of its natural oils after I wash my hair. It's so soft and like lustrous and it's defined. It, trust me that shampoo and conditioner and then they also have the healing mask too that you can use for deep conditioning but I also use as I am still the coconut co-wash because I love the smell of it and again this also makes my hair really soft too. So I actually use this a lot of the times for deep conditioning my hair. Those really the only products I use like right now there's nothing else in my hair after that. If I want to style my hair I will put gel in my hair especially when I put my hair in a bun because I like to have that sleek bun so I'll use gel um, sometimes I'll use leave-ins I do have like some texture ID products that I'll use from time to time but these are my go-to's right now and with that said the other tip I can give you is just always keeping your hair moisturized so that's another reason I like doing those twists because it's easy for me to get to my scalp and get throughout all of my hair because like you see it's thick it's hard to get through every strand but with those twists I can constantly add moisture back into my 
here as needed. Those twists, like I said, I can do for two weeks so I can just wash my scalp. And the twist I can wear for another week because I always wash my hair every week. There was one point where my hair was so dry because of can too, I started washing my hair multiple times a week. But then that's when I would definitely co-wash and not keep using so much shampoo. But now I just wash once a week. I deep condition once a week. And every once in a while I'll do the hot oil treatments. But even when I deep condition, I'll still just put some oil in my hair. And then the last and final tip I can give is just learning your hair because everyone's hair is different. So you have to know what your hair is missing, whether it's protein, which like for me, protein is not really necessary. Right now I need to do a protein treatment, but I can do that and I won't need to do it again for another year. Knowing when to clip your ends. Some people clip their ends too much. Some people don't clip them enough. You don't want to clip too much. You're never going to get that growth that you want if you keep cutting it all off. But you want to make sure to keep the dead hair off so that you can get that growth and you want it to be healthy growth, not damaged hair. So knowing when to trim your hair is another thing. I only trim my hair once a year, but for six months out of the year, I don't put any heat on my hair. So that's less damage that I have to deal with. For those of you that like to do protective hairstyles and use weave in your hair, you can do that too. But then I can't be the one to give you tips on that, but a lot of people tell you you have to be careful with doing it too much because you need to let your hair breathe. So how often you should do it, I'm not sure. Maybe that's what you can do for the six months to help keep heat off of your hair and then the other six months just let your hair be free. But that is pretty much it. The main three things that truly helped my hair is when I first started doing the hot oil treatments and then I let go of heat for six months out of the year and then I also started doing the twist this year which helped tremendously in my hair growth. Thank you guys for watching and Merry Christmas.